Hi guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, DIY, like lots of DIYs for our natural hairs on this channel. So if you're interested, be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a member of the family. As promised guys, this is the avocado and aloe vera oil video. Um, I made a video last time about my aloe vera and fenugreek leave-in conditioner and in that video I was demonstrating how I use it and I was also using avocado oil and I did say that avocado and aloe vera oil and I also did say that I made a video for you guys and yeah this is it this is that video so I do hope that you know you stick around so you can see basically how to make this so I'm using you know my last bit of aloe vera you know i always use i use aloe vera quite a lot but i was kind of at my last last bit of it so that's why you can see it's a very very small quantity i have here um but if you have more aloe vera make sure that you use more and make more of this oil um so yeah i was just using my last bit and i had to go into the shop and get some more for maybe next time so also i'm using some skin of aloe vera here from another diy that i did and i did not throw the skin away so if you're doing if you're using aloe vera a lot keep the skin to make you know some oil so essentially you just want to cut that into smaller pieces both the aloe vera and the skin and just chuck that all in a bowl then you want to add in some extra virgin olive oil my one at the moment is not extra virgin but this is what i've got i'm going to work with it extra virgin is a lot better guys so yeah pouring some oil in there you know as much as you like really um and then pop the whole thing in a pot full of like with water in it on fire okay because this is basically how we're gonna make the oil now i see some people actually cooking the oil like frying the aloe vera in the oil i don't do that just because i don't want to oxidize some of the nutrients in the oil and just you know i want to retain all the goodness of the oil and the aloe vera and all that so that's why i make mine this way now it's time to actually prepare the avocado so if you have an avocado at home that's ready to go off this is the one that you need to use okay so take that and then cut it peel it and basically what you want to do is mash it okay you can use a fork to do this just like you're going to see me do here in a little bit or you can actually blend it if you want to um it's not really that that important that you know it is that smooth if that makes sense but obviously if it is smooth it's better um so yeah just go ahead put it in the bowl and then mash it as much as you can you know to get it as smooth as you can it doesn't have to be perfect now avocado is great for your hair guys i mean avocado has so many benefits for hair growth is high in biotin which is actually an amazing compound that helps make her hair strong so the stronger your hair is the less likely it is to break and also is high in magnesium and potassium which actually helps seal the cuticle so it makes your hair look kind of shiny and smooth which again prevents breakage so avocado is amazing we already know a lot about the benefits of aloe vera aloe vera can actually grow your hair because it does help promote promote a healthy scalp you know it prevents downdraft itchy scalp you know um it makes your hair it condition your hair as well which is actually amazing at stopping breakage so it has lots and lots of benefits so if you do this make sure quite often and you apply it to your hair hopefully your hair will definitely see some benefits you know in the long run so essentially once you've mashed your avocado you now want to put that in the bowl of the aloe vera and olive oil that was already in the pot cooking so stir it you know every now and again until you end up with you know um i mean you know this is ready pretty much when the aloe vera turns from bright green to dark green just like you can see here uh it takes a little bit of time making it this way compared to like the frying method when people actually like physically fry the aloe vera in the oil but like i said i prefer it this way just because i'm able to retain all the natural ingredients that we have in this goodness without destroying any of it 
so you know you can go the shorter way if you want but you might not necessarily end up with a great result i prefer to do it this way it takes a bit of time this cooking thingy took about maybe 45 minutes or an hour i won't even lie but it's okay i mean do it when you have time so yeah at this point it was completely done and you can see that the aloe vera skin turn from bright green to dark green the avocado we just get brown like we just get dark in it but that's fine so once you've done that just take it out of the pot and let it cool down for a little bit and then you're ready to strain it okay so take a, a tea towel or a pair of, of tights or anything like that pour the mixture on it and then you now want to just squeeze it okay so squeeze all of that goodness out so the juice of the aloe vera and the avocado as well actually not the juice of the avocado but the avocado will actually come out with it as well because at this point it's going to be kind of mushy looking um so as you can see there it is just coming out um it doesn't look very nice <laughs> to be completely honest um but it's fine we're not actually eating it so yeah um so do that now i'm not actually sure if you use like if you use a tea towel that's um that has like smaller holes if this is gonna if you're gonna get the same result because my tea towel here was not that uh tight like the, the holes in them were not that tight um so i don't know i haven't tried it with like a really tight tea towel but if you try with a tight tea, tea towel and it doesn't really why am i saying tight tea towel like if you try with a tea towel that has like tighter holes or smaller holes and it doesn't come out that way that well then change change it so essentially once you've done that guys you now want to pour that mixture on a baking tray and pop that in the oven for literally less than five minutes now you know it's done when the whole thing goes black just like you've seen there and it's released you know some of uh, most of the oil so now you want to take another tea towel this is actually the, the part where you actually need like a tea towel with like tighter holes um yeah because you don't want some of that avocado to drip back into the um into the the oil mixture that you've made but i guess perhaps if i let this in there for a little bit longer and i dried up all the avocado i wouldn't have this so essentially you just want to like squeeze that to get all of the oil out and yeah like i said my tea towel was had a bit bigger hole so that's why you can see there's some of the avocado at the bottom i didn't really mind that to be honest because it just sank at the bottom and that was fine and that's basically what you end up with okay so that's just like dry dry avocado and you can just dispose of that so i'm showing you guys here how i apply that to my hair but you can actually apply it however you want uh, you can just simply massage that onto your scalp like every night to help you know promote hair growth or you can actually use it as a sealant just like i'm doing here you must have seen this footage already in my in, in another video of mine i think this is my fenugreek and aloe vera leave-in conditioner video i just took the footage from there just to show you basically how i use it so um yeah i'm just using it here as a sealant okay so i'm moisturizing my hair here and using that to seal in the moisture um but like i said you can use that in any other way and still get you know amazing results in this video i didn't make a lot of you know that oil just because of the fact that i didn't have as much um aloe vera like i said it was my final final cut of aloe vera that i had left so but you can make more if you got more aloe vera you know you can add more olive oil as well so make as much as you want or as or as little as you want um so but i was just going with the little that i had pretty much but you can just you know follow the same thing and just increase the quantities if that makes sense so yeah that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna link this video somewhere up here if you haven't seen it um basically while i was using my aloe vera and 
fenugreek leave-in conditioner so i'll link it somewhere here for you guys if you haven't seen it but you can you can check it out so yeah this is pretty much it for me today i do hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and if you did as always don't forget to give it a thumbs up and most importantly subscribe as well guys if you're not already make sure that you retain you remain subscribed for some amazing videos that i've got coming up like i said i do lots and lots of diy that really helps in like you know growing that helped me a lot in growing my hair and i do hope that you know it can help you as well in your journey and don't forget also guys share my videos share with your friends with your family and basically anyone that you know that can benefit from this and yeah don't forget to leave a comment as well i know i'm asking a lot right don't forget to leave a comment i read them all and i do try my best to answer every single comment so leave me a comment about anything and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching bye